Hello and welcome to this water drop on practical use of SQL queries within InfoWorks ICM and InfoWorks WS Pro. In this short video, we're going to look at the very powerful use of SQL queries in these two modeling applications and how they can be used for basically anyone who's using InfoWorks ICM or InfoWorks WS Pro. If you're not using SQL queries already to do what you need to do in terms of just modeling, master planning, data review, uh, making your models even better in terms of automating different workflows. If you're a consultant that's having to work on multiple different models and you're repeating the same processes over and over again when it comes to database querying, reporting, QAQC, uh, overall usability, you're really missing out if you're not using this powerful tool with, of SQL queries within both InfoWorks ICM and InfoWorks WS Pro. Uh, we're not going to be able to go through everything related to SQL queries. There is a lot here to do and learn about, uh, but we're going to go through a couple of different resources how you can read more about this and practice, practice, practice your use of SQL queries to see how powerful they really are. And then at the end of this workflow, what's really powerful about this tool is, is the way you can share and automate uh, everything you do in these model applications from data import, export, again, reporting, uh, QAQC and data manipulation within your model. Tons of different use cases. We're going to try to scratch the surface of that today to help get you started. All right, so with that being said, the first thing we're going to look at, the first place we're going to look in terms of SQL queries is InfoWorks ICM. So you can see I'm in InfoWorks ICM here. If we'd want to open up a brand new SQL query, we click the SQL query button here up in the top left, and we get this menu where the magic really happens. So here is where you can choose your different object type, uh, field type, field that you want to use in here, and then here is where you write your particular SQL queries here. You could save and use these later. So uh, just as a quick few examples here, I've got a bunch of different SQL queries I have within my database over here. I have them separated into different model groups. And uh, again, there are a lot of different things I can do with this. If I select a node here, I can select what subcatchments are contributing to that uh, particular mantle, that particular node. Uh, and if I open up this particular SQL query, again, in this particular model, it's just focused on dry weather flow. So I've got my subcatchments that are represented as parcels here. So you can see the parcels that are directed to this overall node. And in here is how that SQL query is operating. Uh, you can see within SQL queries, you can either use a uh, dash dash or a dash star to provide commentary, uh, things that won't actually be used within your SQL query, but can help others uh, use this tool in their work. Again, you can share these SQL queries just as you can everything in InfoWorks ICM and InfoWorks WS Pro uh, between different models. All right, so that's one example. Again, if I want to trace from my upstream node, boom, I can do that as well. Open up the selection there by holding control and clicking new links there, and I've got the data there after it's been selected. I'm just looking at those uh, links and nodes that have been selected by dragging on this new SQL query here. So again, a lot of different options available here for you, and uh, these SQL queries can get very sophisticated. So how can you start to learn and create new SQL queries here? To do that, there are a couple different sources to learn and really get help in terms of making your own SQL queries. One place is through the help menu, and if you go to the help here, uh, you can directly open that from InfoWorks ICM and then search the help. And particularly one article in here is particularly useful, SQL and InfoWorks ICM. You can see this is a very long article here. It's got a lot of different options and ways to look at everything from, again, arithmetic to reporting uh, to, again, data manipulation. A lot of different functions in here that you can use within your SQL queries within InfoWorks ICM or WS Pro. And the other place to go to is the Innovise GitHub site. So uh, if I go back a few steps here just to go to the beginning so you can see what this looks like. This is the Innovise open source GitHub site where there are different SQL queries for WS Pro, Innovise Manager, InfoWorks ICM, any product that uses that workgroup database. And if you come into, let's say, InfoWorks ICM in here, there are ones that can be run on the SWIM network and that are configured for the InfoWorks ICM network. And look at all these different SQL queries that are already created in here that can be shared and brought into your model. So just as an example here, if I choose this seventh one, I have not only the code for that SQL query. So if I copy and paste this, copy, 
let's go ahead and create a new SQL query in here. New InfoWorks SQL query. Call this from GitHub. And I've now created that. I open that up, copy and paste, boom. It's there, it's ready to go within my model. Uh, it, again, this would be focused on a uh, ICM specific network, not a swim network. Now what I can see, oh, doesn't quite work. Why doesn't it work? That is because the object type right here. So again, if I go back to that GitHub site, and go back one level here, I can even see the image for what this should look like in my model here. So all nodes is what I need to change here. And all nodes is what I change it to. Test that out. Works fantastic. Save it. Run it. And now that SQL query is set to uh, select nodes or links upstream and downstream from my particular selection. So if I do this again, just to show you, boom, I've selected links three upstream, three downstream here with that. And I have the same ability to look at those in the window here. Okay, so right now I've just shown how SQL queries can be used to select things. Obviously, there are many different ways uh, to look at different reports, uh, different uh, menus that can be brought up with SQL queries within your model. A lot of different ways these can be configured and used. Many references in that GitHub site there, which is freely available for all folks using Infox ICM, InfoSet Manager, or WS Pro. Speaking of WS Pro, within WS Pro there is a special feature in regards to SQL queries, one that makes it a little bit easier to even get started with the tool here. So within WS Pro, and the database looks very similar to InfoWorks ICM, but what's slightly different is you can create different groups that are specifically tailored to SQL queries, so stored query group, and by default you have the option to load factory queries, so load some example queries to get you started on how to use these within your network here. So uh, just as an example of these, here are all the different uh, by default kind of factory queries in here. You can see how they're grouped based on hydrants, meters, related to pipes, pumps, results, etc. So if I look at this one here, this one is related to just results for a standard simulation, and it's going to create a, create a grid of customer point summary results here. So if I just drag and drop this SQL query on my network here, I can easily see the customer ID, the min, the max, and the average pressure for this particular simulation I've run. So in summary, again, we've just scratched the surface in this short video of what SQL queries really are capable of. We have many more resources on our YouTube, on our GitHub site. Uh, within the help file, you can always contact support at innovize.com or give us a call if you're having trouble or need an idea for how to troubleshoot or create a new SQL query. We're definitely here for you uh, to help you in the end make your modeling life a whole lot easier with the powerful and robust tools within Infox ICM and Infox WS Pro and the SQL queries available within both of these tools.